Aloha guys, Chef Ippy here and today I'm making one of my favorite dishes, very easy to do. This is going to be a boneless braised short rib using Aloha Shoyu, the yaki sauce. All right, cut your short ribs up into chunks and it's time to season. If you guys wanted to use those bone-in short ribs, by all means, go ahead, made the same exact way. I'm using salt, white pepper, black pepper, and granulated garlic. Heavily season these things up. After you season them up, we're gonna get some color on them, the Maillard effect, caramelization. Throw it in a saute pan. Here I'm using a flat top. Once you get your short ribs nice and seared up, put it in the pan that you're gonna braise with and then put your aromatics. I'm using one piece of ginger, about five pieces of garlic, cloves of garlic, and two pieces of green onions. Rough chop, guys, because you're gonna braise this, so it really doesn't matter. All the aromatics and everything go into that braising pan and then we add our dayaki sauce. I got a 30 ounce bottle and this is the easy part. You just pour the bottle right over the short ribs, fill that same bottle up with water and pour that bottle over and that's it. Now set your oven to about 300 degrees and we're gonna cover it. I cover it with saran wrap, then tin foil. You don't have to do the saran wrap part. I, I get it, uh, I get it, but I do. So 300 degree oven about four hours. When you pull it out, guys, it should be just like this, fall apart, juicy, moist, delicious, tons of flavor. And you can serve them just like that. What I like to do is make a Asian slaw. I use Aloha Shoyu's ginger dressing. I take Napa cabbage, red cabbage, Thai basil, cilantro, carrots, sesame seeds, scallions, and I toss it all together. It is the perfect accompaniment to these delicious, rich, braised short ribs. Go out, get your guys selves a bottle of the yaki sauce. They also have a spicy version if you guys want to make it spicy. Really hope you enjoy this easy recipe. Much aloha.